I guess I should start with when everything started with my diagnosis. Back in September, late September of 2022, I started having these terrible headaches. Um, I'm a migraine sufferer, so I thought it was that. Um, and I just kept trooping on. I have kids, I had to keep going. And I drove my boys to school one day, and then I started losing my vision in my right eye. This is the middle of the day. My kids are in school, and all of a sudden I'm in the ER. My husband had to drop me off because he had to pick up the boys, and I'm still in pain, I'm panicking. And they put me in an MRI machine. I'm still, still trying to figure out what's going on. No one's telling me anything. And they said that they needed to admit me. I have a on-call neurologist come in and he tells me that I have a 30 to 50% chance of having MS. So a month later, I went to the gym with my husband. I came home and I, I mentioned to my husband, you know, I feel like I got a pinched nerve. And um, he's like, yeah, let's just see how it is the next day or so. Um, and I told him, you know, when you get a pinched nerve, do you feel it all the time? Is it consistently there? I feel like I can't, my arm is numb. Um, and he's like, no, that's not normal for me. I was like, okay, let me say something to my neurologist. And she came back to me and said, no, you have to go and get an MRI. That's one of the symptoms. I went, did the whole full three MRIs, and she got back to me that Monday, and it was right before Thanksgiving. We were going out of town. And she said, I'm sorry, you have MS. I needed to know what this was. And what what I can do. As a mom, I was scared. It's a, it's a chronic disease that's gonna be with me for the rest of my life and will have, you know, effects far longer than I wanted them to. After that process, I, I really just poured myself into God and my faith. Um, and I thought it was so ironic that the same God that I was angry with is the same one that I'm pouring into for my hope and my peace and wrestling with that. And I did a few cycles of that. You know, I'm angry, but please help me. I love you. I can't do this without you. Um, he's put me in some challenging um, places to open up to people, uh, telling my story, um, and opening up to the church. Um, I never really uh, say, you know, when I'm going through something, much like I'm sure most people do. It's a silent battle. I think that it's important to be open, especially at the church. And it wasn't until I put in a prayer request that everything just changed for me. I had gotten first, I believe, an email where someone prayed for me via email. And then I received a text um, from a couple of people that started this communication. And then I also, um, started receiving um, handwritten letters and devotionals in the mail. And it just was incredible. And I have them all sitting on my nightstand right there for me to see every day. And they don't know that it was exactly what I needed. I was able to start treatment, find the medical team that I needed to. Um, almost immediately. I, I think I'm over the battle of the push and pull between it because I know that he's making a way in whatever path that is. Um, and I am, um, I'm okay with that.